Hey folks, Lionel here with Cowboy Boots, Hats, and Western Life Enthusiasts. Today I got another boot unboxing and review for you from none other than Ruho Boots. Now, these are going to be the Ruho Trace. They are in the chocolate color and they are the Cayman Belly in a seven toe. Just the same uh, uh, toe shape that uh, we had last time on the channel with the uh, Gavins that were uh, in ostrich and in caramel color. Now, Ruho has sent me these boots for the purpose of this video and it is in our agreement that I disclaim the pros and cons as accurately as I can. Well, let's get into it. Alright, so first things first, here's the box. Same one as last time. Ruho, be brave. Uh, very nice and understated box with the uh, lion and shield insignia, the Ruho lion. And uh, just very nice, simple box, beautiful. Uh, simplicity is nice. So uh, let's open this box up. And of course, just as I've come to expect, it smells wonderful. You could uh, smell that leather smell right away. So inside you get basically a uh, this paper from Ruho letting you know that they're thanking you for your purchase and also the return and exchange policy uh, just in case you need to return your boots because they don't fit or for some other reason and they do also provide you the shipping return label uh, just in case that is the case so very good alright so basically you get the paper Take this out, so open it, get the shaft shaper, Take this paper out, here we go guys, boot. Now I recommend y'all keep the shaft shaper and uh, put it inside of your boot all the time because uh, it's going to help retain that shaft. So first things first, I had no idea, looking at the pictures on the website, that this shaft was suede. Uh, I thought it was just regular grain leather, but apparently it is suede. So I like to start from the bottoms up, and uh, first things first, that came in has a very nice, nice strong leather smell. Now, I like to start from the bottom up. So let's start with the sole of the boot. So first things first, here's the sole. You get uh, the Ruho uh, sign, just like the last time. Beautiful. Um, one and three quarters inch heel. And talk about uh, finished out nice. This heel is finished out as nice as I've ever seen a heel done. It's actually the same way on the ostrich one that I have from them. Uh, Ruho just finishes out the heel really nice. I can see the lines. I don't know if y'all could see it in the camera, but I, I, I can see them, but man, it's just so nice and smooth. You can't even feel them. You could just kind of see them, which is very nice. Now you do have the uh, uh, insignia in the back, Ruho, just like the last one. Uh, it's a trademark of their boot. Now, uh, here you got plenty of rows of brass nails and lemon wood pegs. Very nicely done. And it is a single stitch Goodyear welt. And uh, stitching is in white on the chocolate color. They do also have a caramel color, which looks very nice. But instead of that uh, shaft being a chocolate suede like this one is, it's a blue suede, like a navy blue with that caramel color just finished out beautifully. Now, uh, I love the chocolate color. Uh, in this case, it is a little bit richer uh, for for this uh, particular boot and I already have the uh, the ostrich uh, in the caramel color. 
with the 7-2. Now I do love the 7-2. And uh, now on to the vamp. The vamp is done very nicely. You see those nice big Cayman belly tile, but it's super smooth. Very nice quality. Of course, it's not as supple as you would expect uh, like an ostrich or another hide to be, but that is just how Cayman belly is. Um, it's it's going to be a little bit tougher, but uh, at the end, if the last is uh, made well and it fits you good, well, it's going to conform just like any other leather. Now, uh, it is one full piece, so it's not a piece uh, Cayman belly. Uh, where they, they have it cut right here and then another one for the counter. No, this one is actually a full Cayman belly. Um, one piece all the way throughout. Even in the back in the counter. Some will even have it just on the counter where it's pieced. Nope, this is a very nice looking high end boot. Uh, none of that here. And the counters, it is tough. I mean, there's some very good support right here on this counter. Now, these bumps, and I mean, just the way that it changes, this Cayman belly is laid out beautifully on this last. Uh, also, you can see that on the seven toe, the way they laid it down, they made it very smooth in a transition from uh, the top of the vamp to the seven toe. I mean, that is just very clean. Uh, on the other one, you could actually see where it is a little bit different, but it is done so well. Uh, you got to look at it to see the differences, but there is some slight differences, which is very nice because uh, that's what actually shows that it came from uh, probably two different Caymans uh, where their tiles are set differently. Now, on to the shaft. So as I said, it is a suede shaft, which again, for a nice dress boot like this, just kind of adds a little bit more. Uh, difference because you don't see many Cayman bellies with a suede shaft uh, it is just beautifully done the stitching is very nice a little bit of the blue contrast very nice with the chocolate and then you got this uh, kind of like a necklace in the front right here it's it's actually really nice it's on the back too um, also another thing that would be in a very high-end boot is having a piece of Cayman belly or the leather that is on the vamp beyond the pull strap which they did right here in a chocolate color they put a, a nice little uh, piece of Cayman Valley which just puts so much into the boot um, another thing that they do which that is done with all their boots they have a nice calf skin inside uh, just really rich looking and feels great I can tell you that from my other boot, uh, the ostrich one that I have from them, it is so comfortable. And uh, that seam, well, you can't even feel it. Um, it is there, but it is almost non-existent. Now, Ruho has a something called a cloud walk technology. And I've walked on it and it's very comfortable because they put a piece of leather over foam. And it is not a thick piece of foam. It's just right, so it's kind of giving you like a like a modern uh, foam feel that you, you you'd like, uh, and also giving you that traditional leather that you uh, that a lot of us have come to love. So I do like this. So these are them right here together, and I mean, guys, I'm blown away by these boots. They are just absolutely wonderful. Well, we'll see. We try them on. All right, let's try them on. There's that pop. Oh my goodness. Another pop. So I got on my uh, lighter jeans as I like to uh, put them on with, uh, with uh, darker boots. And right away, I could tell you these are the most comfortable Cayman bellies I've ever put on. Um, and they do look really nice. So here's a side profile. Man, these are gorgeous. Here is the front. Other 
other side. And of course, the back, which you can't hard to see because I got my jeans stacking a bit on there. But uh, they are very nice looking and they feel great. Super comfortable. Got plenty of room in my toes, but it's like they're supposed to fit. I mean, it's a firm handshake is what you're supposed to feel. And that is exactly what I'm feeling right now. It's perfect. Um, my, uh, my med torso bones were right here and I got plenty of room, just beautifully done. And it's just so nice to look at. I can tell you guys that right now. The fit is spot on as always from Ruho. Well, let's get back up top. All right, so here's my conclusion on these uh, Ruho the Trace. So they are an absolutely gorgeous pair of boots. Uh, on these Cayman Belly, the fact that it's a one piece, uh, the way it is finished out, the suede on the shaft, the uh, piece of Cayman Belly that is on the pull strap, the actual uh, calfskin on the inside. I mean, everything that this boot offers and just, you know, how nice they look uh, shows uh, the traces of a much more expensive uh, Cayman Belly boot. Now, talking about price, these are coming in at the time of this recording at $465. So that is a wonderful price to pay for such a beautiful pair of boots that actually um, fit amazingly. Also, another thing that I wanted to mention, uh, the only downside that I found with these, and again, that's not a big deal, was there's a little piece of, a little bit of glue right here uh, that I was able to scrape off and now you can't even see it. So that happens, that could happen on a, on any boots that you find in any factories. But besides that, uh, <laughs> everything was finished out beautifully. Um, and I mean, this is, this is a very nice pair of boots. And at $465 at the time of this recording, I mean, it, it, it's wonderful. Uh, they're actually fitting me much better and in my opinion are a step up from my Lucchese Charles that are uh, double the price. Now I will be doing a comparison video now that I've seen and tried these on. I will be doing a comparison video between the Lucchese Charles and these and uh, giving you my uh, uh, pros and cons on, on each of the boots. Well, I hope you guys liked this video. Uh, if you guys liked it, please hit like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, we have a lot more things coming. Also, I'm going to be dropping a link to these boots where you could find them uh, down there. Also, I'm going to be dropping the link to the part two of this video, uh, which is going to be the comparison between the Lucchese Charles Cayman Belly and the Ruho Trace Cayman Belly. All right. Well, have a good one.